It's never good when you see a sign on the gate. Yeah, I don't know, Google. I don't know if this is the best way. We're doing a creek crossing. Etc. Toyota. You better not bark at those doggies. Good morning. It is 6.35 on a Tuesday, and we are going camping at another hip camp. This time we're going north because uh, it's going to be in the 90s down here in Phoenix. It's in the country, so we're going back to the woods. So no more city camping for a while. It is a Tuesday morning, so there's probably going to be a little bit of rush hour traffic. We better get on it. good when you see a sign on the gate. Google says it should be open right now, but inexplicably closed. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. I know. We're stopped. Um, yeah, the, uh, they are opening at 10 a.m. because they're having an employee meeting. So I got to go find something to do for two hours. The only thing around here is that casino, <sighs> but I am positive that dogs are not allowed in there. Let's drive down to Camp Verde, to town, maybe we can find something to do there. There is like a fort, historic site over here, and we're in downtown, so maybe at least we can walk around. He is so ready to get out. Okay, let's check it out. More importantly, restrooms. current situation. Uh, there are some questionable individuals down there by the river, so I moved up to this pavilion closer to the library. And uh, Gunther's got a water break. And I brought the mini kitchen up here and the power bank. So we're gonna have a little second breakfast, some Elevenses. park, uh, mooched off the library's Wi-Fi for a little bit, and it is still 15 minutes till the park opens, theoretically, and it's a six minute drive. I guess I'll just goof off a little bit longer. I'm letting my phone charge too, I got the, since I got the ignition on. Good news is the gate is open, bad news is there are people, so many people. I tried to get here early. Oh my god, there's buses. It is 
a bit crowded, so I put Gunther on board. He's a little overwhelmed by all the people. Do you see the lizards? Where are those lizards? Yeah, I don't know, Google. I don't know if this is the best way. But it's why we have a forerunner, right? Right. Well, I guess they're not wrong. Seems unnecessarily long. There is a paved road that way. I knew it. But uh, I'm gonna carry you down there. It's pretty steep. You think you can take those stairs? Yeah. <laughs> You're like an athlete. Almost. <laughs> You're getting your cardio workout today, bud. <laughs> Backpack straps. <laughs> well, that was cool. Uh, really pretty. Uh, much quieter experience than Montezuma Castle. Um, it is a quarter to 12 and so I guess we'll have lunch. Um, we can't check in until two. So we're going to get lunch even though I just had sausage biscuits in the park. Um, downside of traveling uh, on a Tuesday is that a lot of stuff is not open. Um, I was hoping to maybe there are a couple wineries here, there's a brewery. Um, there's like a bakery, a coffee shop, all kinds of stuff that look really cool, only up on the weekends. So, um, there are a couple rest, there are a few restaurants that are open and allow dogs, but they just, I don't know, they didn't seem that great. So I, um, made a picnic lunch and we are going to yet another city park. <laughs> Change of plans. Um, as I was exiting the National Monument grounds, I saw the corner of my eye, it looks like a picnic area attached. So um, I took a U-turn the first chance I got and found this pleasant little picnic area. So we're gonna, we're gonna have lunch here. Yeah, how pretty is this spot? The Forerunner parked over there. There's just one other person here. There's a man who's apparently out on a motor motorcycle ride and he's stopping to have lunch too, so. Yeah, Road Trippers United. For lunch, I've been seeing this thing on my Instagram reels. It's something that's been in cuisine for a long time and that's um, kimbap and there's a Japanese version too. And it's just like, basically like a sushi roll. 
but the twist is that you make them square now, like a sandwich. So it's like a sushi sandwich. I think this is the second one I made. Still working on technique. Nori on the outside, um, rice. I've got some lightly, ref some like refrigerator pickled cucumber, some carrots, and I made a sriracha mayo. I wouldn't do the carrots again. Corner of the park, there's a, a trail and there's totally a plant conservation place here. Of course, when I'm in a stand of sycamores and it is springtime, I can't help but look for some blonde morels. And as always, totally skunked, but it's fun to look. Maps is sending me on this wild goose chase of a route, but uh, check this out on the way. There's totally a cave in there. Well, I think I'm on the right route now. I'm good, how are you? Okay, yeah, that's Gunther. Hi Gunther, how are you? All right, bud, let's see what we got. Okay, coming in. Oh. Pretty decent. Sink. View. Turlet. What else do you need? This is our site. It's windy. A big old fire ring. A couple camp chairs. And, uh, we're gonna check out the shower house. Okay, hopefully nobody's in here naked. I think 
that is the water heater. How oh, interesting. Oh yeah, there's the... Let's head out. All right, we found it. I think you can take that trail. bunch in there. Is that grass? Good boy. Good boy. Feel better though. You have grass in your beard. Okay, here you go. Until next time. Alright, uh, fire has started and I'm uh, going to cook dinner a little bit, but I'm going to make a cocktail next. See how my cocktail cubes fared. Oh, there's still some solid bits in there. It's kind of slush. Oh, that one's pretty solid. So the idea is just add, um, your alcohol, in this case it's whiskey. And then just top it off with some seltzer. A, this one's a blackberry because it's kind of like mulberry. It's pretty. Cheers. Mmm, it's tasty though. <laughs> I'd leave him alone.
Gunther. Gunther, leave it. Well, it's a little after eight. And I think I'm, uh, I think I'm in for the night. Got the nylon layer of the Sports Cove zipped up. And, uh, yeah, I think, and except for the top, I left a little bit of vent up there. And of course I still have the sunroof open with the uh, screen on and the front windows with the screens on. I think it's supposed to be like 50 tonight. Um, I brought my sleeping bag this time, my actual regular sleeping bag. Uh, past couple times, got a little chilly at night. Uh, it was real hot during the day, but it got in 40s, 50s at night. Got a little chilly. I downloaded some podcasts. Thank goodness, because there is zero signal here. Like, none. I didn't, I didn't bring my laptop. I didn't download a movie. I'm trying not to bring my laptop as much. I might try and step out and do some night photography uh, a little later. It's still, the sky's a little light. I'm just gonna chill. Me and Gunther, he is knocked out. breakfast. You gotta get out of bed to eat. You have to get out of bed to eat. There you go. Come clean your butt in up.
Don't worry, you're gonna get some. A couple more things about this hip camp uh, that I didn't mention in the tour. Um, I think there are five sites. Of course, ours here. And then uh, there's, I don't, I don't want to show her, but there's a, a tent camping lady with a Prius over there. And I think that RV is a site. Nobody's in it now. And by the shower house, there are some car, uh, two people with car, camp car camping, and um, they rolled in last night around dinner. I think they must have been out mountain biking. And there's the lady coming back from the creek. Down, the creek is way down there, actually. It's not nearly as close as I thought it was, but there is a walk-in site close to the creek. So I think that's five sites. So other than the creek, another reason I chose this uh, particular camp is that there are alpacas on site. And in fact, I was warned when I chose this site to close the gate um, over over in the corner because they will walk through here and go to their um, their yard and orchard and eat everything. <laughs> but I have not seen them. They have not paid us a visit. I did see one yesterday over in that area, um, but it was pretty far away. But yeah, supposedly they they go through this area on the other side of the fence and they'll go through the opening over there and then wander around in here. Um, but they have been staying to themselves, so that's kind of a bummer, but you know, critters are gonna do what critters are gonna do. Well, we are loaded up, ready to go. So nothing in this trip exactly went as I had planned it. Um, you know, my schedule was totally thrown out the window, but I still had a great time. And it just, um, the key is just to remain flexible. That's one thing I've learned is like, I just through experience, I've just sort of gotten the confidence that if things are going not how you had planned it, it's fine. You'll, <laughs> you'll figure something out. <laughs> Anyway, let's hit it. Well, thank you so much. Uh, what the hell, Google? We're doing a creek crossing? Uh, no, thank you. All right, let's see if these people do it. Okay, they did it just fine. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Just a little fording, a little river fording. It's fine. Oh, and there's a giant hole on the other side. It, Gunther. Okay, so that's why Apple Maps sent me the loop-de-doo way. Google's like, you're fine. Go for it, girl. <laughs> 